Hello, Sagittarius. Getting ready to do your reading. All right. Let me see what is showing up for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. All right. Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands, Five of Coins, Page of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Hermit. Okay, very, I'll move this one up. I see you can't see that one. All right. Communication will be coming in about someone that does miss you or that they're thinking about you or they feel like you guys don't spend enough time together. If this is your partner, they may be saying, you know, I feel lonely. We don't get to see each other that much. There is a, um, there's a couple cards here of daydreaming about you, thinking about you, maybe seeing what you're doing online. But at the same time, I have Hermit here. It could be a Virgo, but yet it almost feels like maybe they, they are not communicating after all. Like they're thinking about this and they want to. Temperance, okay. Let's go back through. Because you have energy here. Okay, we have the moon. That makes sense because of what I'm seeing. Communication, page of wands, two of coins. Someone is trying to, to decide. Eight of wands. We have the four of cups. King of cups. And death. Could be a Scorpio. What is coming with death? King of Wands. Oh, wow. All right, I like this. That's not you. I'll tell you what I'm seeing here. What is Temperance in the center? Chariot, yes. A Magician. Someone, Nine of Cups is taking action. Someone you have been waiting for. Moon tells me there's a lot of things. There's a reason why this person maybe isn't communicating with you. Um, could be so many different things. It's almost like it's kind of a catch-all to me right now because it can represent fears, things going on behind the scenes. Um, but Page of Wands, now this could be a fire sign. Could be water too, but I'm feeling these are energies of the, of the person. I feel this is someone who has been kind of admiring you from afar, or maybe you guys have been communicating, but they're not really telling you how they feel. They're being a little bit bashful, a little bit shy. They haven't really stepped up, but they are missing you, five of coins. Or you could be missing them. And this could represent you thinking about them, thinking, gosh, I wish they would talk to me. I wish they would say something or ask me out or we could move forward, you know. This could be like a little bit of texting here and there, a little bit of communication at work. But I see like opening up and just going. Because this person is kind of staying in the shadows, but they're going to end. They're going to quit that. For whatever reason, they're going to change with the death. And then they come out as the king of wands. Now, I know this is your energy, but as or your sign, I should say, but as an energy, that's my favorite here, because this is someone, there's passion, they're, um, you know, they have love, but there's passion, they're going to go for it, they're going to get out of their comfort zone or their shell and, and come talk to you and make that move finally, because here, this is like someone daydreaming about you, thinking about you, in love, but not really, you know, making the move, not really taking the action they need to take, so again, movement chariot with the magician, like getting things going, about time. Because temperance, I mean, there you are, just sitting there waiting. So you must know this person likes you. You must, you know, you guys probably, you know, flirt at work a little bit or wherever you go, or you're already communicating, depends on where you're at. But again, Page of Swords, I feel like they were kind of spying on you a little bit here and there. Maybe it's also kind of cut and dry communication. Wasn't very flirtatious or fun. But Four of Cups, finally getting that communication that offer that you have been waiting for so very clear message so if this is someone you're waiting for it should should come in fairly quickly they might be traveling or something with the hermit not sure why it's coming up as the hermit hopefully they didn't ghost you or they're not going to ghost you we'll have to see i'm going to extend this one i'll, I'll maybe see if something comes up there but um in the meantime let me pull a romance card and then a, an angel card, or guidance card, I should call it. Okay, Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know about this person? Stay optimistic about your love life. That makes sense. And underneath the deck is very soon, which also makes sense. And let's pull a card from the guidance right now. Oops. Let's see. Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. Okay, now that you have asked for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve our help. So you can call on the universe, you know, 
call them angels, guides, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, ask them to help move this along if you've been waiting. Tell them you want them to help you because that's how they can come in and help. So maybe that is kind of what's going on here too. Maybe you help push this forward. Let me clarify moon. I'm going to see, what is the moon energy? Okay, emperor, wow. Okay. Could be an Aries. That's not really someone who is shy. The emperor usually is not shy, but um, could be someone that really, maybe like if they were a boss of yours, they can't come forward, they can't communicate the way they want. They may be busy. There could be a lot of stuff they're doing though also. Maybe they're gone traveling for business or something. All right. So I'm going to leave it here. I am going to extend it. I'm going to put the link below. Oh, there you are under the deck as I was shuffling. All right. We'll see what shows up. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.